first we see previous problems uh, which were given homework to you and after that uh, we will move on to next another topic in our uh, algebra <clears throat> okay uh, see this Algebra part 3 came. Now I need to search for previous one. Yes, this is previous one. In this already we did some of the problems and some problems I given homework to you. So what are those? I think here onwards. okay nice so in previous i have given some questions to you if any doubts in previous one you can ask me so in previous one what was the condition if zeros of the quadratic polynomial zeros nothing but solutions roots zeros nothing but roots okay we will say zeros in polynomials and roots in equations okay na? Uh, so zeros of the polynomial are equal means roots are equal roots are equal means discriminant delta is equal to delta here c not equal to 0 so c not equal to 0 means delta greater than or equal to 0 so delta greater than or equal to 0 delta is nothing but b square minus 4ac b square minus 4ac greater than or equal to 0 here c and b was asked what are the relations c b c a whatever so b square greater than or equal to a c 4 a c b square greater than or equal to 4 a c that means b square by 4ac greater than or equal to 0. Okay. So here 4ac, b square greater than or equal to 4ac means here a and b is always positive. Okay. So a and c should have same sign. Same sign. So that means the answer will be this one. Same sign, then only we can say that those will be okay. Screen is not clear. I think at here screen is clear. Just to check it at once. Okay, check in your setting, Pratiba. Uh, so, what was the condition? Discriminant that is delta greater than or equal to 0, b square minus 4ac, and its value is b square greater than or equal to 4ac, hence b square minus 4ac, b square divided by 4ac greater than or equal to 0. Okay. Yes, who is this? Uh, hmm, set quality of data. data. Uh, so that is uh, up to your screen. Okay, Usharani, good evening. Welcome back. So now we are seeing our previous problems which were given 
homework right welcome asha hi okay next see this if sum of zeros of quadratic polynomial is 3 sum of zeros of polynomial okay welcome renuka good evening yes who is uh, nine answer is saying sum of zeros sum of zeros just i told in quadratic equation roots in quadratic polynomial zeros sum of roots is nothing but alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a so that implies minus of minus k by a is nothing but 3 is equal to 3 so hence k value is 3 3 is a 9 that is correct okay who is this netra which class i think you are new to this class this is mathematics class algebra okay uh, see this actually this is the this is problem of factor theorem okay so if anybody did this no problem otherwise i will explain in today's class which is upcoming yes darakshan as well as umara usha usharani says option a let it be means how to do this means we need to substitute x is equal to 1 in this as well as x is equal to minus 3 in this and simplify okay I will explain this problem in today's class. Okay. After completion of our next program. Uh, so, this is how much you got a square on both sides. Square on both sides and simplify, you will get answer. Yes, Netra, my your subject uh, English. yes 63 only three members uh, two members what is that uh, it is not necessary to me uh, confirm yourself confirm confirm yourself is it necessary to you or not uh, confirm yourself netra see this square on both sides uh, and uh, answer saying uh, by everyone is uh, x is equal to 1 960 not i think square on both sides <coughs> square on both sides and uh, simplify this then you will get answer what is that 1 plus x divided by 961 is equal to 32 by 31 whole square and simplify this okay so the answer will be 63 check it at once maybe this will be correct answer next one more this method problem already we did what is that x divided by y is equal to 3 divided by 4 okay so then the question from numerator i will take out common as y so what we get 5 x by y minus 2 divided by same y common 7 x by y plus 2 okay yes the uh, action as well as uh, usharani says 7 by 29 okay here y got cancel and substitute in this 5 into x by y means 3 by 4 minus 2 divided by 7 into 3 by 4 plus 2 okay 
Now simplify this, you will get answer. How much 5 3 is a 15 minus 12? 4 to the 8, not 12. 4 to the 8 divided by here 21 plus 8. Yes, exactly correct answer. 7, not 8, 7. 7 by 29 is correct answer. Yes, yes, that is correct. Only substituting. Next, let me move on to one more problem. Of course, this is also problem based on factor theorem. This is problem based on factor theorem. So, just substitute x is equal to 2 in this. Okay, little bit of disturbance. Screen is not clear means try to adjust your resolution in screen. Okay, k is equal to 1. Uh, just by uh, substituting x is equal to 2, you will get k is equal to 1. This is also based on factor theorem. Okay. Okay, uh, now see our topic. So, in algebra, two theorems will be there. One is a remainder's theorem as well as one more factor's theorem. Okay, remainder theorem, factor theorem. Okay, based on this, in last year, HSTR, one question was given. First, we will do what are the conditions are in remainder theorem and after that we will do some problems based on that. Okay. Now, what is remainder theorem means? When a polynomial, when a polynomial f of x is divided by x minus a, the remainder will be f of a. So, this is called Remainder Theorem. Next, whenever the polynomial f of x is divided by x plus a, then what will be the remainder? f of minus a will be remainder. x minus a, x is equal to a, x is x plus a, x is equal to minus a, minus a will be the Remainder. Same when the polynomial f of x is divided by a x plus b, then what will be the remainder f of what will be the remainder minus b by a will be remainder when a polynomial f of x is divided by a x minus b. What will be the remainder? The remainder will be f of b by a. Okay, na? So, these are all conditions in remainder's theorem. So, when the polynomial is divided by x minus a, f of a will be remainder means x is equal to a, we need to substitute in this. Okay. Now, I will go to one problem, with that you can identify easily. 
uh, see this if f of x is equal to what is given 3x square minus 2x cube plus 5x plus 7. Here we are dividing with x minus 1. Then remainder. Remainder means <coughs> just now we discussed x minus a means f of a will be the remainder. So remainder. What will be the remainder? F of 1. Yes, Renuka as well as Usharani saying answer is 13. Substitute F of 1. We get instead of x, we need to substitute 1. 3 into 1 square minus 2 into 1 cube plus 5 into 1 plus 7. The answer is 3 minus 2 plus 5 plus 7. So, 12, 15 minus 2 is nothing but 13. Yes, everybody said correct. Sahana as well as Swapna, Nayana as well as Sangeeta, Veena, okay. So, everybody said correct. Next, Venayana also said same answer. Now, try to do another problem. Try to do another problem. If f of x is equal to, it will be easy to you. f of x is equal to 2x cube minus 5x square plus 4x plus 1 is divisible by divided by x plus 1. That means x plus a. Then the a remainder will be f of minus a. Okay, minus 10 answer coming. So, f of minus 1. So, remainder is equal to. So, 2 into minus 1 whole cube minus 5 into minus 1 whole square plus 4 into minus 1 plus 1. Its value will be minus 2 minus 5 minus 4 plus 1 the answer is minus 10 okay so everybody said correct but renuka said option b okay so option b is also minus 10 okay This is previous HSTR question. See the problem. When 4x cube minus ax, f of x is equal to 4x cube minus ax minus 2 is divided by x minus 1 then remainder is minus 1 then the value of a this is the question so x minus a x minus 1 x minus a that implies f of a is remainder so its value is minus 1 so what will be the answer Yes, answer is coming as 3. Sangeeta says minus 2. Veena says 3. <coughs> Let me check. So, according to condition, f of 1 is equal to 4 into 1 cube minus a into 1 minus 2 is equal to minus 1 because f of a is equal to minus 1 according to question. Just to simplify 4 minus a minus 2 is equal to minus 1. 4 minus 2, 2 plus 1 is equal to a. So, the value of a is 3.
a is equal to 3 that is correct answer a is equal to 3 not minus 2 check it at once x minus 1 x minus 1 is nothing but f of 1 substitute the value 1 here remainder is minus 1 x is equal to 1 yes what i am saying x is equal to 1 substitute in this f of 1 x is equal to 1 the remainder is minus 1 f of a is equal to minus 1 f of a value minus 1 in that i substituted i got this answer okay so questions will be like this now same type 4x square plus 6x plus 2 is divided by 2x plus 3. Then what will be the remainder? Yes, Susharani, explain once again. Mm, okay, let me explain once again. In question, when this is divisive divided by x minus 1 then what is and remainder remainder is minus 1 so what is remainder generally whenever x minus a is there f of a is remainder for that i will i will move on to this one in previous one see this x minus a is divided by x minus a then remainder is f of a remainder is f of a so i will apply the condition ah so f of a is remainder but according to question it was given that remainder is minus 1 remainder is minus 1 means that is equal to minus 1 so f of a value is minus 1 x minus a whenever but we have x minus 1 so f of 1 is equal to minus 1 okay f of 1 is equal to minus 1 means substitute in this <coughs> 4 into 1 cube 4 minus a minus 2 is equal to minus 1 okay so 4 into 1 means what i got uh, 4x cube minus ax minus 2. Substitute in this. By substituting in that, 4 into x cube, 1 cube minus a into 1 minus 2 is equal to minus 1. So, 4 minus a minus 2 is equal to minus 1 4 minus 2 value 2 minus a is equal to minus 1 so the answer is 2 comes here plus 1 is equal to a a value will be 3 not 2 okay next this one what about next one everybody saying answer is 2 just by substituting in that x is equal to minus 3 by 2 ok as we have discussed a x plus b is there then remainder will be 
f of minus b by a. So, f of minus 3 by 2. Okay. Okay, Usharani. Now, this is f of x is equal to 4x square plus 6x plus 2. Now, f of minus 3 by 2 is equal to substitute in that uh, f of x square. x square means 9 by 4 plus 6 into minus 3 by 2 plus 2. Okay. By simplifying this, you will get 4, 4 cancel here, 2, 3 is a, that is equal to 9 minus 9 plus 2. Everybody got same answer, that is 2. Okay, so your answer is correct. Very fastly doing than me. So, next one is... Uh, the problem we have to do, you have to do as homework. 8x cube plus 6x square plus 4x plus 5 divided by 2x minus 1. Okay, now check it. Okay. Now we are going to do one more theorem <coughs> that is factor theorem <coughs> so what is factor theorem check it if x minus a is factor factor of the polynomial f of x then f of a is equal to zero what is meaning of that if I take f of x as polynomial ax square plus bx plus c, whatever. Okay. If x minus a is factor, x minus a is factor means x is equal to a, you have to substitute in that. That should satisfy the given polynomial. That should be equal to zero okay answers already came 19 by 2 okay okay nice i think you are in that one only if you are in that problem you will miss another concept okay so please stop doing and first see this after that you will have plenty of time okay Right, everybody said correct answer. I think 19 by 2 is correct answer. Right? See this, this is one of the important topics. Factors theorem. Factor. Factor is nothing but root. Factor is nothing but root. Root. Okay? So, if x minus a is factor of the polynomial, then f of a is equal to 0. In similar method, if x plus a is factor of the polynomial, then what about f of a? Here, f of a means minus a is equal to 0. So, x is equal to minus a. You need to substitute in the polynomial then you will get the answer 0. If a x plus b is factor of the polynomial, then what is condition? Then f of minus b by a is equal to 0. If a x minus b is polynomial, is factor of the polynomial, then the condition is f of b by a is equal to 0. Okay. The main thing is factor. Factor is nothing but 
x is equal to alpha, x is equal to beta. Then that should satisfy satisfy given condition or given polynomial. Okay, na? This is the main thing. Okay. Now I will move on to one problem. See this. If x minus 1 is factor of this polynomial, what is that polynomial? f of x is equal to 2x power 5 plus 4x cube plus 3x square minus 9x minus k. For this, x minus 1 is factor. X minus 1 is factor means f of 1 is equal to 0. Okay. Okay. Answer came. Uh, everybody is saying answer 0. Let me check. f of 1 just as previous one is equal to 0. Okay. Uh, so then what we get? This is 2 plus 4 plus 3 minus 9 minus k. So, 9 minus 9. So, k value will be 0. k value is 0. Okay. What happened? Veena, you are saying that minus 10. There is no minus 10. Okay. So, answer is 0. Every did, everybody did correct. One more. One more for you. If x plus 1 is factor of this, then k value. Okay, okay no problem, Veena. No problem. Nothing to worry. Just I was reminding you. The answer was not correct. Of course, a little bit of mistake maybe, no problem. And you covered it. Don't, no need to say sorry. Okay. Right. Hmm. One more answer came by Usharani. Okay. Okay. Answer is minus 3. Answer is minus 3. So, remainder, not remainder, factor. So, x is equal to minus 1. So, f of minus 1 is equal to 0. So, 3 into minus 1 power 4 minus 5 into minus 1 cube plus k into minus 1 square minus 5 is equal to 0. Okay. Everybody said correct answer, I think. But you need to be very careful whenever minus came. 3. This is positive. Minus in minus plus 5 plus k minus 5 is equal to 0. So, k is equal to minus 3. That is correct answer. So, you have to do this, but not now. This is homework to you. Don't do now. Next. One more problem. This is uh, easiest and logical question. If P of X, if P of X is polynomial of degree 1, P of X is a polynomial of degree 1 and P of Y is equal to 0, then Y is what is correct answer? First option, 0 of P of X. Second option, value of P of X. Third option, constant of P of X. And fourth option is none. Anybody can guess the correct answer. 
what will be the answer okay sahana says option c constant of p of x which one k is equal to minus 3 already completed vanita says option a okay pratibha as well as renuka says option c the correct answer is option a not option c because see this p of x is polynomial is polynomial okay so already i told root in quadratic equation zero in polynomial okay so polynomial is of degree 1 i will take the polynomial just like some 2x plus 3 it is a polynomial of degree 1 yes yes okay okay see the question question c at once let me explain clearly swapna question is not understanding you are saying okay p of x is a poly uh, poly is nothing but a polynomial I, i didn't write completely if p of x is a polynomial of degree 1 polynomial means i will take like this and p of y is equal to 0 p of y is equal to 0 means this y is factor okay p of y is equal to 0 means y is factor for this given p of x factor means it is zero zero means when when you say zero when you say zero zero means that should satisfy in that okay in previous question previous question please yes this is previous question this is previous question have you seen this swapna as well as ramya okay shall i move you can uh, screenshot it it will be easy okay next hmm see this y is factor factor means that should satisfy by satisfying we are getting zero so the answer is zero of p of x okay na so this is little bit of a tricky question right so i think you got the point p of y is equal to zero means it is factor factor means that should satisfy that means zero of p of x okay now one more question this is easy it is able to do what is given in question if alpha comma beta are zeros of polynomial such that alpha plus beta is equal to minus 6 alpha beta is equal to 5 zeros nothing but roots okay then which of the following will be the quadratic equation which will be the quadratic equation okay so sum of the roots should be minus 6 and product of the roots should be 5 so check in this check in this check in this check in this 
Yes, Tejaswini says option B. Okay, what will be the answer? Shruti option A, Summa option C, Swapna option A. Okay, okay, Sajida Smita A, C, or let me check. First one, sum of the roots. Sum of the roots is minus b by a minus 6 by 1. Okay. Product of the roots c by a 5 by 1. Next. Here sum of the roots minus 6 by 1. Product of the roots minus 5 by 1. Here sum of the roots uh, minus of minus plus 6 by 1. Here 5 by 1. Here sum of the roots 6 by 1. Here sum of product of the roots minus 5 by 1. So, first option is correct answer. Option A. Okay. Not option B because minus 5 is there. Not option C because 6 and 5. Here I need minus. So, this is also not. Okay. The answer is this one. Okay, no problem, Ramya. Now, another one. What about this question? Three root three. Which will be the correct answer? The zeros of the polynomial, zeros of the polynomial, zeros means f of x should be equal to 0. Option A, 3 root 3. Yes, Swapna. As well as Stuti, Suma, and uh, Rashmi, Renuka, Darakshan, Danu. Everybody saying option A. Let me check it once. X square minus 27 is equal to 0. So, X square is equal to 27 x is equal to root 27 so plus or minus we can take plus or minus the answer will be first option 3 root 3 correct answer 3 root 3 is correct okay now see another question the quadratic polynomial, the quadratic polynomial whose zeros, zeros nothing but roots, are these are 3 plus root 2, 3 minus root 2, which will be the answer? Zeros are given. So the answers are x square minus 6x minus 7 x square plus 6x plus 7 and x square minus 6x plus 7 x square plus 6x minus 7 okay lakshmi you got 3 root 3 that is correct answer for for previous one now swapna and sahana says c is correct answers okay two zeros given so, sum of the roots and product of the roots. Ramya, now Chaitra came. So, saying option A. Let me check it once. Zeros means roots. Sum of the roots means 3 plus root 2 plus 3 minus root 2. Here, plus root 2 minus root 2 cancel 6. Okay. Product of the roots alpha beta 3 plus root 2 into 3 minus root 2. How much? 
नाइन माइनस टू इज नथिंग बट सेवन सो बोथ शुड बी पॉजिटिव हियर सिक्स बाई वन माइनस सेवन बाई वन इट इज नॉट सेकेंड ऑप्शन माइनस सिक्स बाई वन सेवन बाई वन दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉट थर्ड ऑप्शन यस संगीता कॉडेटिक फॉर्म एक्स स्क्वायर ओके दट इज करेक्ट exactly exactly sangeeta 100% whatever you said that is correct so i can check in this you can check in this as uh, sangeeta said i will substitute in that also x square minus of alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta is equal to 0 you can substitute in this you will get answer okay so third one is correct answer Third one is correct answer. Okay, right. That is correct. Next, go through another problem. Degree of polynomial root two. What is degree of the polynomial? Direction said option A. Zero. Yes. Ha. Nine says one by two. What will be the answer? So different different answers are coming. The correct answer is uh, zero, not one by two, because uh, f of x is equal to root two, root two. This is constant polynomial. so constant polynomial degree should be zero constant polynomial degree is zero okay degree means the power of the variable here i will take f of x is equal to root 2 into x power 0 okay so Zero will be the degree. Okay, na right. They just winning not one by two. Check it at once. Okay. Now go through this. The value of k if x square plus k x plus six is equal to x plus two into x plus three. What will be the value of k? Yes, power never be fraction. Ha. Huh. So polynomial definition is that power never be fraction. Not thirds. Power should not be thirds. Okay. Answer C. Okay, Lakshmi, your answer was correct in previous problem. Okay, everybody says answer is five. Let me check it once. Just multiply these two, you will get same answer. X square plus five x plus six. Just by multiplying this, k value is five. Yes, five, 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 four fives. That is correct answer. Okay. Now one more problem. Okay, Pratibha, correct answer. Pratibha, Sangeeta, you did correct. Now I move to another problem. What is that problem? One plus three y whole square. 
plus 9 minus y square 9 y square minus 1. For this, one of the factors, one of the factors, what will be the option? What will be the option for the one of the factors of given polynomial? Okay, Aram Smita says uh, option 3. 3y plus 1. Third option. Let me check. From this I will write it as 1 plus 3y whole square plus this is 3y whole square minus 1. So, from this I will write it as 1 plus 3y whole square plus 3y plus 1 into 3y minus 1. From this, I will take out common as 3y plus 1. What we get? 1 plus 3y plus 3y minus 1. So, 3y plus 1 into Plus 1 minus 1 cancel. 3, 3 is a 9y square. Sorry, 9, 3 plus 3, 6y. Not multiplication, addition. So, 3y plus 1 is correct answer. Okay, now. This is in the form of a square minus b square. That is equal to a plus b into a minus b. So, I converted like this. Okay. Option C, most of the persons said. Not 1 plus 3y. Ah, okay, right, right. 1 plus 3y is correct. 3y plus 1, 1 plus 3y. Both are same. Correct answer. Okay. Same method. 1, 2 problems are there. Okay. See this and remaining 2 you can do. One of the factors of this. X, X cube minus 1 minus of X minus 1. One of the factors for this. Try to check. The options will be x square plus 1, x square minus 1, x minus 1, x plus 4. Pooja says uh, x is x minus 1. Ah, Chaitra is asking uh, what is that uh, one question? In polynomial first class, in finding the roots, you told if a plus b plus c is equal to 0, then roots are c by a. If a plus b is not equal to 0, means what? Ha, ha, ha. a plus b not equal to 0 means what means? You need to find the solution. That was shortcut trick. Chaitra try to understand. If a plus b plus c is equal to 0, then 1 comma c by a. See this. I am giving clarify to you. ax square plus bx plus c. Whenever we have, if a plus b plus c is equal to 0, then 1 comma c by a are roots. This is a shortcut. Okay. This is shortcut method. If I won't get 0, then do in the procedure. Okay, na? So, 
this is applied only whenever a plus b plus c is equal to 0. Shortcut method I told, but not for all problems. Okay, you got it. Okay, let me do this. Everybody saying option B. Option B. Option B. Somebody saying X minus 1. Okay, let me check. Solution. So, X cube minus 1. Mm -hmm. mm. X cube minus 1 cube minus x minus 1 I will write. So, we have one formula a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square. From this x minus 1 into x square plus x plus 1 minus x minus 1 minus x minus 1 that is equal to I will take out x minus 1 common from this x square plus x plus 1 minus 1 these got cancelled so here I will write it as x minus 1 into x common x plus 1 so the factors will be x minus 1 as well as x plus 1 as well as x minus 0 these will be the factors so among these the option is x minus 1 not b x square minus 1 one of the factors 1 1 okay one of the factors okay now this is the thing next here x square minus 1 means uh, two factors we will have if x square minus 1 is the factor one of the factors i said one Okay, here two factors we have. Here one factor. Okay, x square minus 1 is factor, then x minus 1 is also, also factor. Of course, x square minus 1 is factor, x square minus 1 is nothing but it will have x plus 1 as well as x minus 1 both will be there so in this also x minus 1 is there okay na x minus 1 is there so that's why x minus 1 will be the factor then how you go how can we go for that option only here it is given that one one of the factors okay one any one here we have both are the factors x plus one as well as x minus one but here we have x minus one is the factor only one factor okay Okay, once you got this one, if you stay up to here only, if you stay up to here only, RM Smitha, just uh, please uh, unsal check maadi. If you stay up to here only, you can say x minus 1 is the factor, no? Okay, na? right you got the conclusion so see another one this is homework for you the coefficient of x square in this one 
coefficient of x square. Copy this and do the problem. By simplifying x minus 1 also as factor. What I am saying x minus 1 factor in previous one, one of factors x minus 1 is factor. That is correct. X minus 1 is factor means this will be the answer no or not. Okay. Here I am giving questions but you are giving answers directly. Okay. Check it. And next one this one. 0 of polynomial. Px is equal, p of x is equal to cx plus t. I think it is a direct answer. Okay. Okay, okay. Whatever. So, in uh, next class, in next class, we will do some important problems uh, like, uh, ah, okay, okay, answer. Total answers came. So, in next class, we will do some different problems, substitution methods. By substituting the given fraction, like uh, for example, x plus x minus 1 by 2x is equal to some value will be given. Then what is the value of another one? Okay. So, like this problem, so these are also important. Right, like these problems we will do, and after that we will go to LCMs as well as HCF, highest common factors and least common multiples. Okay, so until then, thank you, thank you very much. If there is anything about negatives, you can share with me. Positive means no need to share. If negatives, please share with me. Thank you one and all. Good night.